Attention, due to some of the graphic scenes portrayed in this film, the content may be unsuitable to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. The Hoopville family was a baronial Norman family who derives their name from Tancred de Hauteville. They rose to power in the central Mediterranean through several conquests and crusades. However, they are most well known for their occupation of southern Italy and Sicily. So much so, in fact, that the Sicilian flag and the crest of the Hauteville family are synonymous in many ways. The crest of the Hauteville family and the Sicilian flag are both represented with two Triskelions, a three interlocked spiral design popular amongst Celtic art and European Iron Age art. The head of Medusa is presented with three ears, all of which made from wheat, a common crop on the island of Sicily. Medusa's head is surrounded by three legs, which all represent the three points on the triangular shape of the island of Sicily. In the early 11th century, a group of Normans stopped in the town of Salerno in southern Italy on their way back from a pilgrimage in Jerusalem. While here, the town was attacked by an army of Saracens, and the natives chose to stay inside. However, the Norman knights chose to fight and defeated the enemy. As a result of the battle, the Norman knights gained much wealth, and although these knights did not stay, they sent word back to Normandy of the spoils to be found in Italy. Two of those knights to travel to Italy in search of wealth were William Ironarm and Drogo, both sons of Tancred de Hauteville. In Italy, these men went into mercenary service like many other Norman knights. In all, six more sons of Tancred de Hauteville would make the journey. As the Normans continued to fight in their mercenary service, they eventually grew self-sufficient. Eventually, the Norman knights became self-reliant and started operating under their own capital. This led to the end of their mercenary service. As the Hopevilles began to gain power and land in southern Italy, Pope Leo began to see them as a threat. In turn, this caused him to call upon the assistance of the Lombards, Swabians, and Byzantines. However, as the papal forces were moving to meet up with the Byzantines, they were intercepted and attacked by a Norman force headed by Humphrey de Hopeville and Richard of Aversa. <laughs> As the Battle of Civitate waged on, Humphrey de Hauteville and the troops under his command were slowly being defeated. As Humphrey and his men were slowly losing the battle, they were miraculously saved by a young and uprising Robert Guiscard. This act eventually led to a victory in the Battle of Civitate for the North. The Hauteville's capture Pope Leo in order for him to grant them land in southern Italy. The Battle of Civitate and, and the capturing of the Pope commences the illustrious career of one of the most decorated Hauteville men, Robert Guiscard. Guiscard, arguably the most successful Hauteville.
Robert Guiscard holds many achievements, the sacking of Rome, the invasion of Greece, and of course, the invasion of Sicily. Although his career grows to be filled with many triumphs, Robert Guiscard's early life was quite villainous. In fact, he was known to be quite the little con artist. When Pope Nicholas II invested Guiscard as Duke of Apulia and Calabria, both regions in Italy, he also named him Count of Sicily. Unfortunately, Count of Sicily at that time was an empty title, seeing how the island was already under Saracen control. This, along with an unquenchable need for expansion, led Robert and his brother Roger to invade Sicily. Among many of Robert Guiscard's achievements comes the sacking of the city of Rome. In 1084, Pope Gregory VII calls to Robert Guiscard to help him handle Heinrich IV, the Holy Roman Emperor, after their excommunication conflict. Upon arrival in Rome, Robert Guiscard discovers that Heinrich has already left, and instead of Robert returning home, he decides to sack the city. Following the death of Robert Guiscard comes an enormous and important civil war. Robert's will did not leave satisfaction in the hearts of all of his heirs. When Robert Guiscard died in 1085, he left Apulia and Calabria to Roger, his eldest son, by his second wife. She was rumored to have poisoned him. While Bohemond, his true eldest son only received the lands in Greece which were soon lost. This greatly angered Bohemond, and with the help of a Capuan army, Bohemond attacked Roger, starting a civil war. After two years of off and on fighting, Pope Urban II made peace by granting Bohemond Toronto and land in the heel of Sicily. Pope Urban II, years after Robert Guiscard's death, made a speech to knights in the Christian war to lay siege to the Holy Land. Some of those men were Hopeville, Bohemond, Roger I, and Tanker. After laying siege to Antioch, they established a Hopeville Principality. The Kingdom of Sicily, currently under the control of Roger II, is a prosperous and flourishing medieval economy. Due to high land fertility, King Roger II invites farmers from mainland Italy to cultivate the land. This led to a major growth in agricultural production for Sicily. However, the main source of income for the island were its port cities. These cities exported and imported many domestic and foreign goods due to its central location in the Mediterranean. The most common exports included grain, nuts, timber, and wool. These products were sent all throughout Italy and Europe in the Byzantine Empire. Sicily was truly a prosperous economy. Unfortunately, with great success, you often become a target. 
many other European nations began to scam the Sicilians and take advantage of their growth. This led to many invasions and attacks on their land. Although the Hufils aren't particularly known for their art, some of the kings, namely Roger II and William II, built magnificent churches. Roger II's Palatine Chapel, which is now inside the Norman Palace in Palermo, has been there since Arab times. But the Montreal Cathedral, built by William II, is known as the Hopeville family's best piece of art. The Hauteville's are one of the greatest military families in all of history. From their humble beginnings as mercenaries, they quickly grew in power to become the kings of southern Italy and Sicily and have land in Antioch, Greece, Thrace, Malta, and North Africa. The Hauteville's also brought Catholicism back to their lands and built magnificent churches. For this, European history will never forget them. A council of historians was tasked with the challenge of grading the Hauteville family in certain categories based on their significance. These categories include military and political involvement, religious and theological involvement, economical involvement, artistic involvement, and their self-reliancy. The family earns an A for military because of their expansion and conquest. The family began in Normandy, France and reached as far as Antioch and Northern Africa in nearly 150 years. Although the family is accounted for the spread of Catholicism to southern Italy and participated in the First Crusade, the family is not known for their religious doings. For these reasons, they receive a B. Under Roger II and William I, Sicily was a highly prosperous economy centered around trade and agriculture. For this, the family receives an A. Artists and architects the Hauteville's were not, however certain cathedrals such as Montreal were accredited to the family. These factors result in a C. They no longer need the, needed the aid of their Lombard sponsors after they became self-reliant enough to operate for themselves. For their self-reliant nature, the Hauteville family receives an A.